The announcement that we all saw coming a mile away has officially been announced and nobody really seems to care. In fact, we're apathetic at best. The PlayStation 5 Pro just seems like a colossal waste of money. So welcome back to Words of Paradise. I'm your host, Leon Idol. And yes, if for some reason you hadn't heard yet, Sony officially reveals the PlayStation 5 Pro during PlayStation 5 technical presentation. The only thing that could have happened today, that will happen today, that is more obvious than this, is how trounced Kamala Harris is going to get during the debate. And frankly, I don't know which I'm less interested in, because both are so... Yeah, who cares? I mean, the, the internet isn't really even ablaze with information about this, because we saw it coming, and, well, intelligent gamers, um play on PC. And even Sony knows this, because they're taking most of their games for the PlayStation 5, and... Putting them on a PC, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe I'm jumping the gun. Maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe there's something about this that might make it worth the... Oh, wait, what's that? 700 Okay, yeah, no, nope, no, nope, never mind. We're, like I said, let's get into this, but... Uh, yeah, I think y'all pretty much know what my thoughts are going to be on this. Sony has finally announced the worst-kept secret in video games, the PlayStation 5 Pro. It costs $700, doesn't come with a disk drive, and launches this November. So great! You only have to wait two more months before sheer and utter disappointment, or sheer and utter joy if you are in fact a Sony bootlicker. PS5 lead architect Mike Cerny confirmed the mid-gen refresh during a PS5 technical presentation in which he said the new console... Uh, it's not really a new console, it's more of a, an upgrade to an existing console. Uh, let Sony give players the high frame rates they prefer. You mean those same high frame rates that um, probably should have been in the original PlayStation 5? Uh, the GPU is much larger, ray tracing is improved, and there's custom hardware for machine learning, PlayStation Special Super Resolution. Now, much larger GPU, I don't know, that's good, like, that's an objectively good thing. The ray tracing being improved, that is also a good thing, but um... Yeah, how's that game library looking? Like, like, cause, cause if you want, if you want me or or someone who is frankly far more of a simpleton than your boy here to spend seven hundred dollars, almost almost a thousand dollars, if you want somebody to spend what would likely be more than half of their rent on a wannabe PC, you're gonna need to come with a collection of banger games that, let's be real, has been about half a decade and you really don't have. I'll give you credit for the most recent Astro Boy. In fact, I made an entire video earlier really going over and praising it from, uh, you know, from the outsider looking in as somebody that is not a Sony player, but... Yeah, sorry, one game in five years ain't gonna cut it, Mr. Man. Design-wise, the PS5 Pro lines up with the leaked information and images that recently hit the internet. It looks like a lot. It looks a lot like the PS5 Slim, but with stripes along the either side. I mean, to be fair, stripes along the side absolutely warrant the additional. I mean, can you? Do you realize how sexy and frankly how much engineering work went in? to adding those stripes. <laughs> Check out how the PS5 Pro looks in the slideshow images. I'm gonna be real, I, I don't really care. It, it just looks like the PlayStation 5, but um, I don't know, stripier. In a post on the PlayStation blog, Hideki Nishino, CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment's platform business group, outlined the PS5 Pro's performance features. An upgraded GPU. With the PS5 Pro, we are upgrading the GPU that has 67% more compute comp units in a current uh, PS5 console and is 28% faster memory. Overall, this enables up to 45% faster rendering for gameplay, making the experience much smoother. Great! I, I just would like to again remind people that um, you need to have interesting, likable, fun games to experience smoother, something that again, Sony just been ain't coming to the table with, and the times they do, they're also bringing it to PC, and if you've got even a decent PC, you're gonna run those games just as well, if not better, and have the opportunity to mod them, to alt them, to do whatever you want with those games, because, well, the PC is just an inherently superior way to uh, experience the art form that is video games. Advanced ray tracing. We've added even more powerful ray tracing that provides more dynamic reflection and refraction of light. This allows the rays to be cast at double and triple times the speeds of the current PS5 console. I feel like as great and pretty and gorgeous as those words are, I ain't gonna improve Star Wars Outlaws or, uh, you know what, it's a real damn shame that we already lost Concord. Con this is what would have saved Concord, everybody. Concord, all it needed was more dynamic reflection and refraction of light. I, I feel like all those people out here saying Concord failed because it's woke, it failed because of the pronouns. You guys are all wrong. It just needed the chance to embrace 
more advanced ray tracing, AI-driven upscaling. We've also introduced PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution, an AI-driven upscaling that uses machine learning-based technology to provide super sharp image clarity by adding an extraordinary amount of detail. So now everybody's all okay in being on board that AI train. I've been saying for the last like two or three years that AI is awesome and it's going to be a game changer, quite literally in this case. Uh, and people have been calling me a, you know, a filthy, a filthy bootlicker for the for the technocrats and for you know for removing artistic integrity. But all right, whatever. I'll, I'll give you that. I, I like to see the um, the implementation of AI, especially if it means. People in the industry get fired because robots can just do their job. Sony also confirmed the PS5 Pro price at $699. Wow, with a release date of November 7th, 2024, it includes a 2 terabyte solid state drive, a DualSense wireless controller, and a copy of Astro's Playroom pre-installed. The vertical stand sold separately. You're trying to... First of all, here's the messed up part about all this. If you have a PS5... You are probably a Sony soy boy fanboy, and so of course you will want the PS5 Pro. Like, I, I very, very few sales are going to come from people like, you know, I wanted the PS5, but I haven't gotten around to getting it in the last half decade, so uh, I'll buy a PS5 Pro instead. Like, like, don't get me wrong, yes, some people are going to do that, but... You know, the majority of this is just going to be upselling to your existing PS5 customer base, and uh, you can't even give them the courtesy of... Giving them the stand with it, like like if we're gonna go into other details. Like for example, they're they're cutting out the uh, you know the disc uh, you know the, the disc reader. You can buy a separate disc reader. I honestly kind of understand it. I do. I, I understand cutting out the disc reader. Most people buy their games digitally nowadays. It's stupid in my opinion. Physical collecting should always be the way to go. Like there's there's so much more you can do when you actually own the games yourselves. Uh, but objectively, from a you know standpoint of a business. I get cutting it when probably, what, 85, if I had to guess, percent of games are sold uh, digitally nowadays. But you couldn't give them the stand, really? Like, that is that is just so damn chintzy. Uh, PS5 Pro is available as a discless console, Sony clarified, with the option to buy the currently available disc drive for PS5 separately. PS5 Pro also launches with the latest wireless technology, Wi-Fi 7, and territories supporting the standard. Games that take advantage of the PS5 Pro features include PS5 Pro Enhanced Designation within their title. So, <laughs> so basically, there's going to be games that if you had them on the PS5 and they already looked adequate, I guess, uh, you can upscale them. They're going to be an enhanced version. But take a look at the games that are getting said enhanced version. Sample games that will be PS5 Pro enhanced include... Already off to a bad start! Alan Wake 2? You mean the game that has yet to turn a profit? The game that has been outright rejected by Alan Wake fans and gamers the world over. Oh, you, you, you're gonna you're gonna give an enhancement to that? No enhancement is going to improve that game, guys. Assassin's Creed Shadows? Th what do you mean? That game isn't even out yet. You're gonna give it like a pre-enhancement and again... That game ain't gonna do numbers. Yeah, it might actually sell, but with the insane budget and the way that the controversy around it and the fact that Ubisoft already is dropping that their investors are turning on them, what, you think that Assassin's Creed Shadows is gonna be one of those flagship games that everyone with a PS5 Pro is just gonna flock to? No. Demon Souls, again, that's actually not a bad choice. Uh, very niche, but not bad. Dragon's Dogma 2. I can see that one. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, once again. Oh, right. The game that everyone has pretended to be excited about for years and years until it came to find out uh, via Square Enix's own reporting that the game itself sold far below expectations. So how many people are actually playing this game and are going to get to even see this enhanced version? Gran Turismo 7, Hogwarts Legacy, Horizon Forbidden West, Marvel Spider-Man 2, Ratchet & Clank a Rift Apart, The Crew Motorfest, The First Assistant... The Last of Us Part 2. They they couldn't help themselves. They had to do it. Arguably the most controversial game of the last 10 years that drove... They should have called this the Rift Apart. Ratchet and Clank, no, no. Last of Us Part 2 was what really put a rift in the gaming community because you had sane and normal individuals who know that it's absolute dog shit. 
And then you had the fanboys that lap up anything and everything Last of Us or Sony because they are just trained little rodents at this point that will, you know, keep hitting the pleasure button instead of the food button until they die. Games that are playable on the PS5 console will be playable on PS5 Pro and use the same user interface and online community for multiplayer gaming and network services. CNET, which went hands-on with the PS5 Pro ahead of today's announcement, reports the console supports VRR and 8K resolutions and up to 50 PS5 Pro enhanced games will be available by the November 7th launch. I feel like this is a lie because... There aren't 50 PlayStation 5 games. Other features include PS5 Pro Game Boost, which can apply to more than 8,500 backward compatibility PlayStation 4 games available on the PS5 Pro. Or, and I just recommend this as a PC gamer, get the vast majority of those games on PC and you will uh, not have a need to spend $700 to have an even more mediocre version of these enhancements to your favorite PS4 games. That's... Just my recommendation, but, you know, what you gonna do? Uh, let's see. PS, uh, it will be, it will include, it will be compatible with PS5 Pro, including, uh, you know, PlayStation 2 VR 2, Portal, DualSense Edge, Access Controller, Pulse Elite Wireless Headset, Pulse Explorer Wireless Headset. D nobody cares, guys. Because nobody cares that PlayStation 5 has been a mockery of modern-day gaming. More people are playing their Switch an objectively worse piece of hardware because it does the thing that gamers want done gives you fun games it's it is that simple believe it or not the majority of folk do not care about the fanciest hardware they don't care about the best graphics they don't even care necessarily about loading times they just want the great games and for the ones that do care about that stuff they're playing on pc because pc gives you all of that frankly far cheaper it really does i, I give you like oh twenty five hundred dollars for a game first of all no you don't need twenty four hundred dollars for a fucking gaming pc you can squeak by fourteen hundred dollars will get you honestly a better gaming pc than the seven hundred dollar um than the seven hundred dollar playstation and it opens a world of access to so many more things it's not just gaming and you know if you want to go the route of just gaming that's fine as well but maybe buy a console that actually produces games that are worth playing because Bro, PlayStation got like three. I'm not it, 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 seriously anything else that's on the PlayStation that's worth playing is on the Switch or on PC or dare I say, God forbid, even on Microsoft, someone else that I am a supreme hater of. There is no reason to buy this. This is gonna be the biggest waste of money, development time, resources, advertising, and frankly, probably a waste of my 12 minutes of making this video because everyone's going to be like, yeah, you're right, Leon, we, we really don't care. I don't, I don't know why you made this 13-minute video to tell us that you don't care and that we don't care. We already know that none of us cares. And then I'm going to get, the, of, of course, the, 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 the obligatory so Sony fanboys in the comments hating, saying I don't know what I'm talking about, and... um. No, I do. I'm just I'm 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 sorry that you are brainwashed by a Japanese and name only company that honestly couldn't care less about you. Remind me of how, how's Concord doing? But these are just my opinions. Let me know yours in the comments down below or let me know on X when you find me at Bolt the Word. And please just subscribe. I'm a nerdy news channel. I cover nerdy news every day. Not always about the state of the gaming industry, but anime, movies, music, magic, the gathering, you name it. Check me out on Instagram at words of paradise underscore Leon and become a member for $4.99 a month. You can join the Discord, choose the articles I go over on a day-to-day -day basis, choose the videos I react to on my Friday night live streams, and of course get involved with over 80 other vital idols. We are a bright, beautiful, glowing, vibrant community that I cannot wait to grow even further because we do care about diversity. We're only one kind of diversity. Diversity of thought. If that's interesting to you, join the Discord, hit subscribe, and until next time, it is all here in the Nerdosphere. This has been Words of Paradise.